Hello there, Internet, and welcome back to this Let's Play of the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. So we are continuing on our attempt here to unlock as many things as possible per time. I think I'll go as Isaac today. We already beat the Dark Room with as Isaac, but uh, we haven't gone to the uh, chest yet. So that we will do. And as always, we'll try to go for some boss rushy stuff as well, if at all possible. I'm not gonna guarantee that it is, but getting a... Um, wow. I got totally trapped there. Getting this early item room is, uh, is definitely gonna help out. Item has um, the opportunity, or sorry, Isaac has the opportunity to become very, very strong because he has a D6, so he gets to choose which items he want. I'll take the mitre though. Gives us more soul hearts. Makes it a lot more likely that we're gonna win on this. Uh, a mitre is definitely top tier item in vanilla as well as in rebirth. I'll not take that as a soul heart yet because I'm afraid that I'm gonna lose it. And since we have our uh, boss just here, there is no reason to take that risk. Let's just thing all blow up, get a free bomb. And we get a few more bombs out of that. I'll come back for those in a second. I could also use a bomb here on the Duke of Flies to speed things up a bit. Um, but it will probably not be necessary. That's a very big fly. Were these flies always so big? Seems extreme. So Duke of Fly is uh, annoying more than anything else. Um, see, but he's fairly easy to control the movement of, so let's just pop down a bomb there. Almost killed him. I'm not sure if... I think all bosses take the same amount of damage per hit from bombs. I don't mind so much that I personally took damage here there, because um, we have a bunch of red hearts lying around and it doesn't make any difference for the devil room chances or anything. HP tears up and shot speed down. Pretty good. I'll never be able to remember all of those uh, stat items. Uh, okay, I, can, I guess I can't actually get that one. So we are gonna take our D6 charge with us to the next floor. So remember that the D6 we can use to reroll any item that we do not want. Um, one thing of course is that this item becomes a lot better when you actually know what all the items do. Um, which I don't quite at this point. So there's gonna be a um, period of time where I will probably try to use a D6, but I'll not use it very efficiently because I'll end up picking up bad items simply because I didn't know that they were bad. So for instance, the boss item here, would I have rerolled that if um, if I was given the chance? Who knows? Um, tears up's pretty solid. Um, shot speed down, I guess, is considered the bad thing about it, but... Um, yeah, I mean, it's not really that bad. And also an HP upgrade is always good. Almost always good anyway, in particular in the early game where you want to go for some um, Devil Room chances, it's really good. Another Soul Heart. I'll take it. We're a little bit slow. That's um, one thing that's a little bit annoying that we will hopefully be able to fix at some point. And another Soul Heart. We're already at uh, almost max health here. There's our item room. Good to see that early. I'll probably not be able to... Uh, Reroll more than once per floor on these early ones just because it's hard to get another full charge on the D6. Let's see what we have in here. Uh, it's a little planet. That's one that makes our shots sort of run in a circle. That's not very good at all. That's not a leaf. Uh, it makes us invincible and gives us a raccoon tail. And if we stand still long enough so we can sort of become invincible. That's super useful in some situations. This is a terrible, terrible room and also the boss fight. I'll wait a little bit, um, even though I want to be sure to get to mom in less than 20 minutes and beat mom in less than 20 minutes. I think that there's still a point to looking around these early floors to make sure we get all the consumables that we're going to need for the later ones. In particular, that key um, is going to go a long way for for that. To make sure that we're going to be able to go to the item rooms on the next couple of floors. So I could also look for secret rooms, but it looks like there's probably three possible locations for it. Um, I took the wrong way around here, <laughs> clearly. But maybe it's actually the right way around to avoid these things. This is such an annoying room. Alright, monster shouldn't be too bad. Oh, a double monster though. So this version of monster, I believe, has... Well, first of all, he obviously has a smaller hitbox. Um, but I also think that he has less health. I think maybe if you combine the two, they have around the same amount of health as um, as an ordinary monster, or maybe a little bit less, um, to make this fair. But it's certainly a trickier boss fight than uh, ordinary monster is. 
One difference, I suppose, is that they don't spawn any um, enemies on um, when you first enter the room. But that's not actually a big difference. So hopefully we get a Dell room. We do. HP upgrade as well. And damage. No, it's not HP. It's damage and range up. I'm never gonna learn. Uh, I'll take the Pact. Comes with a single soul heart, I believe. Yeah, two soul hearts. That's very good. Uh, I don't know what the thing on the left does. And Guppy's Paw. Um, I'll pick it up, but I'll not use it. Instead, what I will do is... I can actually re-roll it. Hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna take it. Gabby's Paw turns one red heart into three soul hearts. But it also makes it more likely for you to become Guppy. You become Guppy after picking up three Guppy, item, three Guppy items. Um, and becoming Guppy makes you super, super strong. Um, we are already fairly strong. Um, I can't complain about our strength and also... Uh, even though, yeah, I guess we're pretty much set, actually. Our damage is good, and we have a um, a solid defense just by having the Miter. Miter dropping a bunch of soul hearts for us. So that is nice. Here, just need to focus a little bit. Uh, missing page. When we get hit, we have a chance to deal damage to all enemies, I believe. And I believe it's around a one-tenth chance. And scales with luck. Scales in some kind of weird non-linear fashion. Much of the exact stats in this game, I believe, are still speculation. I don't think people have been able to um, data mine exactly how all the various items work, so... So it's still all about experience, really. It's, it's difficult to make exact judgments on uh, and exact calls on every single thing in the game. But just going by how things work in, um, in Vanilla Isaac, you can normally come up with some fairly good guesses. So I will go to the boss fight, uh, simply because we have the D6 ready. And um, yeah, I think that's probably reason enough to do so. I don't know what this is, but in case it's explosive diarrhea or something, let's use it on the boss fight. Oh, that got super close. It's Amnesia. Forget uh, means we forget the map, which is very annoying since we're trying to speed run a little bit here. Let's just put this down because we're gonna want to get that um, marked rock anyway. I probably won't open that golden chest. Uh, I will go back to try to find the uh, item room, and then if I end up with a bunch of keys, I will actually open this chest. Uh, this is a crate. Crate is pretty solid, and this is Krampus. Krampus is uh, nice because. Um, well, we are fairly, fairly well suited for dealing with him at the moment. Also, he drops good items. Lump of Coal is good. Um, I don't know how good it is exactly, but it seems pretty good. And Head of Krampus is really good. I don't want to ditch the D6 for the uh, Head of Krampus, though. Head of Krampus is a space bar item, and we can only bring one of those. So in case he drops Head of Krampus, what I'll probably do is re-roll it into the Lump of Coal. Okay, you cannot re-roll it into Lump of Coal, apparently. We learned something today, but you can re-roll it into other Devil Room items, and that also seems very, very good. Uh, I'll probably end up taking the box, or the crate, or whatever it's called, but for now, let's go on to the... Um, to the... Item Room. I just noticed something. I gained a charge on my D6, even though we didn't actually... Um, even though I used it on the same room as uh, I dealt with Krampus, that's very useful knowledge, actually. This is something. Toxic Aura Tears. Well, it makes our shots insanely slow. Uh, let's try it out on a room. Seems like a good room to do. Okay, so our shots are also piercing. And, I mean, they're bigger, so that often means that they deal more damage. I'm not sure if that is indeed the case, so it's a little bit difficult to tell. I could, of course, look for a secret room, but now that we forgot the map, I'm not going to... Is this the correct way for the boss? It is. Uh, so I'll take the crate, or the box. I could also try to get some more chargers for my D6. That would uh, make a lot of sense. I definitely don't want Curse Call. Curse Call ma me makes it so that if we take damage in a room, uh, we teleport out of it. Chaos card is very good. And the pill is... Let's just use it. I found pills. Anything else we want to do? I don't think so. Let's move on. So we're halfway there, and um, we spend half of the time. So it's not a given that we're going to be able to do the boss rush. But um, it's somehow as um, probable as it's gonna get. So it seems like we're actually not dealing all that much damage. I'm gonna take this. It means that when we take damage, we uh, spawn money. And so, of course, optimally, I wouldn't take any damage at all. 
Um, but yeah, I can't quite figure out what this item that we have does, except make our tears bigger. Um, let's go into the curse room. Could be come find something good. Find a single Necronomicon. I'm not gonna take that. Uh, Necronomicon, um, six room charge. I think maybe a three room charge. Um, also, we can't push bombs away anymore, and it deals damage to all enemies on the room. Could also go to the arcade, but I want to go to the shop first. And if nothing else, um, yeah, I, I would probably want to go to the item room before I go to the shop. Shops don't seem all that useful in this game, and compared to vanilla, item rooms are better in the sense that they're more passive items, it seems. This is a scary room. Get rid of one of them before I get cornered. Oh shit, I did take some damage there. Unfortunate. I probably won't be able to go to the boss challenge room if I had to guess. So I'll probably use the chaos card on mom because mom is the longest boss fight. So just by if I would just want to save as much time as possible, that's where I'm going to use it. Could also be that I come up in a uh, double boss situation where I want to deal damage to two bosses at once, and in that case, it might be better to use the damage or the chaos card before the mom boss fight. Uh, right now, I'm wasting reroll so by not um, finding the item room. Scary room. I really hate the layout of this room. We did find our item room though, so that is good. There's a terror card for us, should remember to pick that up. A uh, bottle of Nutella. Uh, bouncing tears, yeah. That's, um, <laughs> that's super sweet. I don't think it works so well with the tears that we have, have at the moment because their shot speed is so low. Two of spades doubles our keys or gives us two keys. So I think it's probably worth popping immediately so that we are sure that we can go to our shop. And the shop will be up here somewhere on the way to the boss fight. Um, so I could also use the D6 on the boss fight if I want. Um, okay, I'm happy that their AI is so bad. This um, bottle of Nutella means that we can um, deal damage to multiple enemies per shot. I mean, we could do that already with piercing. So I guess this somehow overrides piercing. Um, is that a good thing then? It's a little unclear to me actually. Piercing shots are fairly nice as well. Let's um, let's deal with our boss. Husk is definitely not a chaos card worth the uh, opponents. He should be fairly easy. He's super fast though, and we're not. We're actually fairly fairly slow. So yeah, but I'm gonna do it the do it this way around because I think the um, D6 is better used on the boss room or potentially on the devil room. Uh, HP upgrade. That's good. I'm not gonna pass that up, no matter what. So, um, we're about 13 minutes in now. This room is super annoying, actually. In particular because our shots are so slow. Somehow he managed to put himself in just the only place where there's not any creep. Okay, there we go. Um, what is that? There's options, more options. Okay, cool. Um, I don't know what that does. More options, I guess we'll find out. So timer is at 13 minutes, this is gonna be tricky. We're still ahead of the clock, but not my, very much. So I'll probably pass on the, um, on the challenge room no matter what, unless it contains a bunch of red chests or something like that. Okay, we're on Necropolis, that's a more difficult version of this, um, of this floor. I will probably go into my shop immediately just to figure out if I need to backtrack later on. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be able to find a key. This room is absolutely terrible. Mask of Infamy, probably the most difficult boss or most difficult um, enemy in the game. And now I have another key. Uh, okay, this is a library kind of thing, isn't it? Satanic Bible is very good. Is it better than the D6? I'm not sure. And what else do we have? We have a Joker card, also very good, and Purity, I don't know what that does. Gave us a Soul Heart. That's not very good at all. Let's go to the Devil Room immediately, pick up the Mark. Uh, my logic here was that if there was a, not, a non good item in here, I would just reroll it. Uh, I think I'll reroll the. Um, I don't ac actually want a book, is the thing. So I will probably stick with my D6 for now. The Satanic Bible is very good, gives us a, a Black Heart per. Um, per six floors, or sorry, per six rooms. Um, but since we already have the miter, we kind of have that effect built in, but it is definitely an effect that's useful to have in many situations. This room is uh, terrible. I took some damage. Maybe not too surprising. 
I am also not a big fan of this room because things can hit you sort of from the other side of the room and you had to pay very much attention to where enemies are. Uh, which floor are we on? Necropolis 1. Okay. So we still have time. 13 minutes, 20 seconds. It's not too bad. Uh, this is in that single attack fly, right? Yeah. It's a passive, I'll take it. It's not very good. It deals a fair amount of damage. Um, yeah, maybe I shouldn't have taken it. The, the, another thing is I want to make sure that I pick up items that I never picked up before, because a part of this game is to pick up all items. Uh, I think I had the attack fly before. I definitely had it on a challenge or a campaign mode um, run. I'm not so sure if I had it on... I mean, I, yeah, I had it on one of them. I'm not sure which one. That's what I'm trying to get at here. I guess we could re-roll our book, but again, I would much rather have that re-roll available for a boss fight. So there is a there is a lot of strategy involved with um, maximizing the number of re-rolls that you're going to get. In particular in Rebirth, since you have all of these batteries lying around. So I don't think I'm doing that very well at the moment. I feel like I'm very often running around with a full, fully charged D6. Uh, but that's just situations that are somehow... Um, unavoidable sometimes. Let's go in here and qu quickly check what we actually have. Single golden chest is not worth the um, time that it's gonna take. So hopefully we can get rid of these guys very quickly. I'm happy that the hearts kind of correspond to, each, uh, to the masks the way they did and it wasn't the other way around. No marks either. Should look out for mark rocks in particular on a room like this. Um, with there are so many rocks. Whoops. I wonder how the bouncing works. Um, I mean, everything in this game is kind of rectangular, so you would think that bouncing would be perpendicular in those cases, right? Um, but it seems like many shots kind of, kind of end up flying off at an angle, um, which doesn't make a lot of sense to me. We certainly have a lot of money right now, so I hope we'll be able to go to a shop. Is this... Okay, there's one... Oh, there are so many enemies in this room. Was that the last one? No? There it is. So annoying. Single penny, let's pick it up and go to our curse room. Curse room looks good. Nope. Ah, I was so hoping that that was gonna blow up the uh, stone chest. I have enough bombs though, so it's not a big problem. Um, do I want Bob's brain? I don't actually. Oh, what I should have done is um, re-roll it. This is the pentagram. Curse rooms will always contain devil room items, I think, um, if you do it that way, so. Those are always good for re-rolling. Pentagram is just a straight damage up. It's very good. Ah, oh, shit. I really hate this room. That's the worst thing about Necropolis. Uh, this one particular enemy. I know I'm leaving a bunch of money behind, but it won't make any difference. Uh, I don't really want that item. That's one that deals damage to enemies when you touch them. I guess I'll try the pill, I think. Bad trip, that's terrible. Okay. Um, I guess I'll buy the reroll and then reroll the item in the shop. Let's just do that immediately. Okay, remote detonator is also not very good. And it's jammed. Feels good. Means that we spend our time wisely. So a bomb for possibility of terror cards and at least a chest. Chariot is good. Uh, which floor is this again? Necropolis 1. So let's use the Chariot card on the boss fight immediately and go back for the Chaos card, which we can then use uh, against Mom. War is also um, a perfect enemy to use this against. If we can get him into his uh, running state immediately, that would be good. Maybe I didn't use it optimally there. Um, it would have perhaps have been better to use it while he was actually in his running state so that I was sure I would be sure to actually be able to use it against him. On the other hand, this is kind of the easy state. Um, so, yeah. Maybe it was... Uh, the right way of doing it after all. Uh, I picked something up, but I didn't see what it was in the middle there. We already went in here. All right, let's come back for our tarot card and uh, let's move on. Any other remarks? No. So we have about four minutes. Three minutes. Okay, that's actually going to become a problem. Um, there is a beggar in there. And I will come back for that arcade if it turns out that I'm not going to have the time for the um, for the boss rush. I'm also not super overpowered, I should, uh, I should mention, because... I mean, yeah, well, okay, I am. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think we're powered enough to actually be able to deal with the boss rush. That's probably the most important part. 
So I'll take the boss fight um, as soon as I can. Uh, this thing we had before, Infestation 2, means when we kill enemies, um, Spectral Spiders spawn. It's useful, it's not um, fantastic, but it should be good and scale with our damage. Also, it just means that the room will kind of clear itself if you leave it um, long enough somehow. Uh, this is kind of annoying. Okay. Yeah. They're dealing a fair amount of damage. Not much is uh, certain. Yeah, this is gonna be super tricky. I guess I'll go into the shop just because we're right next to it. Ah, oh, shit, I got hit. Ladder is not very good. non habit is fantastic. Uh, maybe not with the D6 so much as with many other items. non habit means that when we get hit, um, we gain charges on our spacebar item. So you can use that in many situations to uh, to farm rerolls just by forcing yourself to take damage. Um, and you can totally break the game by doing that. So that's very good. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to find ourselves in such a situation. In particular, because we're a little bit stressed at this point to make sure that we're going to be able to go to the boss rush thingy. Um, yeah, one minute left. The boss has to be in no more than two rooms away, I think. If this is going to be... Uh, if this has to be possible. That's not the boss. Shit, that took damage. Okay, that's also not the boss. Uh, I, think, um, I think this is over. I think this is over. Let's rush it. There, there's the boss, okay. It's not impossible. This guy just needs to show up very quickly. Is this room over? Yes, it is. I, that was the biggest mistake. I pressed the spacebar button for absolutely no reason. It means um, that I can reroll. Uh, and rerolling the boss rush would be uh, absolutely fantastic. Uh, how is it again? Do we need to go to... We need to go to the um, chest, right? Yeah, I think we need to go to the chest. And here we have a goat head. It's a little too late probably to be very useful. Goat head means we are guaranteed... Um, uh, what are we guaranteed? Del rooms. So how many floors do, have, do we have del rooms on yet? There is one. It's probably only one. Room one will have a devil room, room two will not. And uh, cathedral? I don't think cathedral has a devil room, has it? Does it? Yeah, I guess it does actually. But it, yeah, it's not worth it, I think. Where's. Ugh. That's so annoying. I thought that it would. As soon as you had unlocked it, it would stay there. Maybe just close us down after 20 minutes? Oh, that's so annoying. So much energy is spent to go into that place and it's not even there. Alright, nothing we can do about that now. That's a little unfortunate. So I guess that will have to be on a different run. The thing is, we need to do it on hard mode eventually, right? So, uh, I guess we'll just do it on hard mode and nothing else. The, there, yeah, there are somehow is no reason to really play normal mode. Until after you unlocked everything. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> I don't like hard mode very much. I only tried it once. Uh, and that was terrible. It's absolutely terrifying. I hate this room. I think I take damage on it like 75% of the time. So let's check out our challenge room. Oh, it's Cricket's head. We don't often see... Um, Actual items in challenge rooms. I think that's actually one of the first time that's ever even happened. Critic Cricket Set is a uh, damage up, and I think it's not just a like numerical damage up. I think it actually scales your damage as well. So if you already have good damage, Cricket uh, Cricket Set is uh, simply fantastic. It's certainly not something I'm going to reroll. Why is there four monsters in here, and why do we one shot them? So uh, definitely a very interesting run that we uh, that we have at, the po at this point. I guess there should be one more. Did we fight three waves there? I'm a little confused. I should also remember that I have not leaf. Um, and since I have a tech fly, I think that means that I just won the game because... No, nah, it's not entirely true. But I mean, what I could do is just have things charge me and then have the attack fly kill them. And I can just stand around. But that's going to take forever. 
But if I come across a super difficult situation where something uh, will be in attack fly uh, radius um, away from me, I might have to do that. Broken onk. I guess it's like the onk, but not always working, would be my guess. I don't think we ever saw it in action. Um, I guess this guy can just kill with the attack fly. There we go. Get another soul heart from the miter. And this time around, these guys will not be allowed to hit me. Golden key. Could be useful. Do we know any of these? This is kind of a cool room. It, uh, it, if you know your pills, it can be super good because in that situation you will know which pills to actually go for. I don't remember my pills and I'm never able to. Yes, I saw that happening. I hit this room. Almost happened again. Perfect attack fly placement there though. Uh, how do I want to do this? I'll, uh, let me try out a few pills. I have enough bombs. Uh, I don't think... Is there a way to blow up two at once? There is. That's good to know. And that's creep on the floor. I am aware. Bad trip is good. Um, turns into a full health pill when you have low enough health. And health up combines very well with that bad trip pill. So I'll definitely take the bad trip pill with this um, onto the next floor. Let's see. Soul heart also very good. And another health up pill. I didn't even notice that those were identical. Um, amnesia makes us forget the floor. That's terrible. Uh, is there any red health lying around? There is. So I should come back for that. <clears throat> Once again, I'm very close to actually pressing the spacebar um, with my thumb. I should probably remap that that button. I'm not sure why I do it so often. I guess it's just because when you move around your um, all the other fingers on your hand, and the thumb kind of moves with them. So if you're not paying attention, you might end up having your muscles conspire against you somehow. I found that happen um, a few times in, um, in, in Rebirth, actually, that I can somehow feel particular fingers ache a little bit after a few runs. Or a few runs. Um, and I'm not sure why that is, because I mean, I, I've been gaming for many, many years played a bunch of games where you need to use the WASD buttons a lot and I never think I don't think I ever paid attention to that uh, before so maybe it's just what it's like to become older I don't know but it's a little unfortunate and probably not very healthy maybe it's just because this is uh, such a stressful experience altogether this game this boss in particular is not very stressful though should remember to go back for the soul heart that we have lying around. Now we don't have to. We do get a down room. And we got an HP upgrade. Okay, make make our bad uh, triple better. Yeah. Interesting. I'm gonna take mom's knife. Um, even though it's gonna ruin our terrible tears. I think it's gonna stack very well with all the damage we have. Uh, do I want fear shot though? I don't think I do. Because I think our damage is so good that we don't actually need to um, fear stuff. And our tears are incredible as well. Makes it a lot faster to um, actually charge the knife. Also, ability to fly could be useful, but I don't think it's um, it's worth the health. What was this pill again? Amnesia, okay. Anything else I want to do? I guess there's a couple of places where the... Okay, maybe not here. Just thinking about the uh, secret room at the moment. It could be here. So let's uh, try that out. There it is. We haven't actually seen a lot of secret rooms, so that's cool. Um, since we have so many um, health ups, let's hunt for those a little bit. Liberty cap, so random uh, tear f or random mushroom effect, that can be good. But I think the broken arc is probably better. I think on average, um, the liberty cap is gonna be good. Right? But how it is good with the knife somehow, I'm not so sure about. Maybe it's actually good. The, the most devastating thing about. Um, or the most devastating effect you can get from the Liberty Cap is like damage down and tear up and that's very bad with mom's knife because there you, you still need the tears but not as much as somehow so anyway let's um, if I remember correctly there is a an achievement for oh shit I hit this guy um, there is an achievement for playing this guy enough um, I don't think I unlocked that so Let's just do that. Um, he can also give us some good stuff. Fly love is always uh, useful. In particular, since we're going to the chest. Uh, means that we will be dealing with um, with Blue Baby, who spawns a bunch of flies. So they're... Um, 
um, fly love will be very good. I remember one of the first items that was uh, actually announced for this game was uh, something like fly love, but for spiders. I don't think I actually saw that item. So I'm a little curious if that actually made it into the game. It would make sense um, to have that be an item. I mean, I have no idea how this game is actually coded, but you could imagine that since it's there's always, already an item for uh, which does the same for flies, maybe it wouldn't be too bad for them to implement something that does the same for spiders. You should never make statements like that, though, because it is impossible to tell how this game is coded. Alright, um, if I remember correctly, the achievement is for playing this guy a hundred times. And if I would have to guess, then I would say that we had probably played him around... Maybe close to 50 in total, at most, probably. This is run number 37 or something like that. Uh, I don't actually have the numbers nearby, so I can't really tell for sure. Um, but it's probably around there. And we, we don't often play the guy. I mean, the way I normally like to do it is just play the slot machine instead. Because the slot machine kind of can give you the same things, more or less. Except for fly love. And um, what that means is... What am I trying to say? Uh, right. You, it can give you the same thing, but it's a lot faster. So why not just play the slot machine instead? Slot machine can also drop the dollar when you play it enough. Sometimes it just explodes and gives you nothing, though. Um, the dollar just sets your money to 99 cents. Normally, if you play the slot machine so much that you get the dollar, you don't really need the money anyway, though. Although it is completely random when that, uh, when you actually get the dollar from the slot machine. It can easily be that you just get it on your first try, the first time you actually use it. So, uh, obviously not the most interesting thing that you can uh, do in this game, playing this, uh, this shell thing. I really wish that there are some ways to somehow speed it up. Perhaps if you, the more times you played it in a single room, um, the faster he would be. Something like that. That would make a lot of sense. Do we have two golden keys now? That's uh, ridiculous. I guess I'm also going to be able to play this um, blood bank quite a bit. Which is neat. Even though I have full health already, having more health upgrades are it's just going to be good because I already have the bad trip bill. And um, bad trip is full health, eventually. I think also, we're also getting a bunch of soul hearts, and I think the miter is probably uh, one of the reasons for that. Uh, get away. Ah. Uh, okay. I was trying to save him, but I couldn't shoot uh, the tear away. Uh, one, two... Three plays, right? It's a lot of money, which we can then just put into the... how do I want to do this? Put into the slot machine. Let's try to stay at a uh, half hard state here. I can also use my um, D6 still, so that could become very useful. And I think um, in Rebirth the way it works is that if you ever get an item from these things, um, when they blow up, um, you can re-roll it into anything. In the original you could only re-roll them into somehow the same item that you would otherwise be able to get from whatever the thing was that blew up. So let's try not to pick up the red hearts. Um, did I, do I know what that pill is? I don't think I do. Jera here would be uh, ridiculous. Okay, so we actually got the dollar. I didn't intend to pick it up. That was a kind, kind of a mistake. Um, but that's okay. Range down. I'm not a big fan of that, obviously. So let's try not to... Well, I will pick up the blood bag if it spawns. Um, right, what else can I do? I guess that's gonna be it. I'll probably have to blow up the um, the blood bank eventually. Uh, but let's not worry about that at the moment. If I had known that there was a boss dungeon room, maybe I would have used the arcade um, to go into that as well. Our damage seems absolutely insane at the moment. Also, having um, the D6 is super useful on uh, on the chest. So if there's a Mark Rock, if you can somehow carry it all the way down there, um, that's very good for you because when you enter the chest, if you have enough keys, you're going to get free, four free items. And th all of those four free items, you can just re-roll into anything you like. So that's neat. Um, so even though I just spent a lot of time on that, it's not like we have actually spent a lot of time on this run altogether. Um, 
looking at the timer right now, timer is at four, 35 minutes almost. Um, which is not all that much. We did lose out on the um, on the boss rush thing. That still hurts a little bit. This is super annoying. Good. Had to take a little bit of a risk. Oh, I got hit by the laser twice. That's painful. Well, we have so much health lying around on the floor that um, I'm not too sad about it yet. But taking silly damage that is very easily avoidable never feels very good. Uh, this is a silly room. <laughs> I like how our spiders are kind of stranded on those little aisles. Uh, weird room. Okay, there's a reason for us to spend s oh shit some money. I'm not sure how much how many soul hearts I actually hey, left behind. Um, so one question is, what do I do if this guy spawns an HP upgrade? I think I'll just take it. Uh, the map that's also pretty good. Okay, so apparently this is more difficult than than in the um, original. The map allows us to avoid some dead ends. It's very good for the chest and it's very good for the cathedral. I'm taking more damage than uh, than I'm happy with about at this point. This is just a utero utero two actually. Okay, so uh, maybe I should go back for my health before dealing with mom's heart. I'm not so sure. No, I, I can beat mom's heart with the, our current amount of health. That's not a problem. So let's do it that way. I'm just a little slow. That's all. All uh, right. That went exactly as it should. So let's go back for our health. The only reason I wanted to do it this way is just because um, there is a chance that I was going to go down to red hearts. And if that was going to happen, I would rather lose red hearts than soul hearts. Standard procedure. Uh, what else do I have on this particular floor? Nothing much. I think I left a bunch of red hearts lying around. So maybe I should just um, use this thingy a little bit more. I think I can do that without um, much concern. Could be the worst idea ever, but now I'm going to do it anyway. There, the Polaroid triggered. I should have used the, the Polaroid. I completely forgot that you could do that. I think that's the first time we're actually in this situation. So, of course, when the Polaroid... Um, when you co when you go out to half a red heart... Um, I can actually go in here now. When you go down to half a red heart... Uh, I don't want that. Um, you can... Um, whenever you take damage, you're going to get a period of invincibility from the Polaroid. Which you can use to farm the blood donation machine as much as you like. So, yeah. No reason not to do that. Uh, get us back to half heart state. So just need one full red heart. There's half a red heart. Um, it's a little annoying that you can't tell from the map if you have half red hearts or um, half red hearts or full red hearts lying around. Um, because that would make planning a little bit easier. Okay. Ah, I picked up some red health. That's annoying. <coughs> on to the cathedral so the map should immediately tell us where the boss is uh, this is the worst layout I've ever seen again again the map allows us to um, easily tell where the boss is in many situations for instance in this one there's only one possibility and we'll actually see it automatically just by moving around but what it does allow us to do even though this map layout is so bad that the map is not going to help that much in itself. It allows us to not go into dead ends. I mean, you can tell immediately where all the dead ends are going to be. So, for instance, I don't need to go to the right because that would be silly. So that's very useful knowledge. Also, we're pretty strong. It's kind of cool to um, be finding like high enemy, high um, health enemies, because the mom's knife is so much more efficient against those than, than like armies of enemies. This guy is so tanky. Alright, what else? We have a um, curse room. If we find a bunch of health, it might make sense to go into it, but otherwise it's probably not. So, yeah, the main trick with Mom's Knife is making sure that it's gonna stick, stay on your enemy as, as much as possible, because it's not just like it deals a fixed amount of damage, it deals I mean, a certain amount of damage per tick. So you want to make sure that the knife is actually on your um, foes for as many ticks as possible. That was very bad on my part. I shouldn't have gotten myself stuck up there. 
Is that, um, that's Mr. Boom. Right, allows us to use a um, bomb every now and then. Let's re-roll it. Into blood rights. We unlock that if, was that last round? I think it was. So um, that allows us to deal damage to all enemies in the room, but it costs health. It's not very good. In some situations it is, but um, it's not in this particular situation. So if I wanted, I could um, spend some more time on this floor, unlock some more, um, get some more charges on my T6. But I think it's uh, still better just to um, to rush the boss. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna find more items on the next floor anyway. Ugh. Oh, I have none so habit. I totally forgot about that. So Isaac is already half dead. Oh, that's a fairly bad shot there. I'm still a little bit slow actually. All right, there we go. Uh, and down to the chest we go. I hope it's the chest we needed to go to. The thing is, I would go back to the main menu and check, but I just saw a post on Reddit um, which said that you cannot actually do that because you're gonna spawn on top of the negative, which is a very silly bug. All right, what do we have in here? Uh, infestation? Uh, something... Ipecac. That's Ipecac, isn't it? I think it's Ipecac. No, it's Chemical Peel, right. I can never tell the difference between those two. Um, chemical Peel is good. I think this is Synthoil, maybe? I can never, I can never remember those either. Uh, but we certainly had this item before. We also certainly had infestation before. It's pretty good. It means that when we take damage, fly spawn this does something. It might also be roid rage, which makes this faster. I'm not gonna pick it up. That's the thing. This over here is um, Taurus, maybe. Do I want it? Taurus, speed down, rage's building. Um. Yeah, sure, why not? That's the thing that makes us faster and faster on um, on every single... Um, no, faster and faster during the course of a room. And then when we're fast enough, we get the effect of um, of My Little Unicorn. I'm not sure why I went... Okay, I know why I went this way. But it's because I needed to go this way. Um, right. So, and that's very useful in some situations, but it's better when we're already fast because then um, the effect is gonna trick faster and trigger faster. So I'm gonna get a bunch of um, re-rolls here, I suppose. Oh, this is money equals power, isn't it? That means that the more money <coughs> money we have, the more damage we're gonna deal. Which is silly, because we're at max uh, money. I think this is a quad shot. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I uh, think we won. It's not sure, I'm not sure yet though, because we could still easily take a lot of damage on the next couple of <laughs> rooms. But it turns out that these rooms are now fairly easy. So this is gonna be one of those runs where I end up uh, clearing the entirety of the chest, just to make sure that I get as many items as possible. This is very silly though. So our our um, knife takes a longer time to, um, to charge now. It takes longer to actually um, get to full range, which is not necessarily a bad thing. It means that you have a little bit more control about how, um, or more control over how far it actually travels. So I wonder if it um, if it deals um, four times the damage to enemies if you just like um, walk into them. It doesn't really matter though, because it one shots almost everything anyway. This is really cool though. I love the new uh, synergies in this game. Uh, I didn't leave any items behind that I can reroll. That's a little unfortunate. So the point of this is going to be to unlock as many or use as many new items as possible, find as many new items as possible. But um, I guess there's no reason to not go into the boss fight immediately. So let's just do that. Make sure that that's taken care of. Not the most difficult blue baby fight that I've ever had. Uh, that unlocked the D24 for, for killing um, blue baby as Isaac. There is an achievement for not taking damage on uh, on the chest or the dark room, I believe. So it's a little unfortunate that we didn't get that one here because uh, this is probably as strong as we're ever gonna get on the chest. But that's how it goes. I imagine that's one of the achievements that I'm just gonna get by complete accident. By being super overpowered. I mean, so I guess at some point I said during the course of this run that there's not much point in playing a normal mode. For achievement like th for achievements like that, there is definitely a poison. That's Shumhard, um, which we had before, but let's just pick it up anyway, so that we sure we're sure we had it before. 
Don't know what that is. Mysterious liquid toxic splash damage. That sounds horrifying. Just noticed a small guy pop out of the floor there. I don't think I saw that before. So let's also look for secret rooms. That's there. Yeah, I was hoping that, that would be Greed, uh, but I was also hoping that Greed would then drop a um, an item for us. He didn't, but that's also okay. A uh, little slow. I don't know if the Toxic Splash damage does anything for us right now. Is it a bomb thing, maybe? Let's try and use it. No. This is Mr. Mega. It means that all of our bombs are now bigger. I'm not sure if we had that before, so um, that's the reason I pick it up. Otherwise, I would have re-rolled it. I think we might have. Again, I'm just picking up items that um, that I'm sure we didn't have before. If we wanted to min, min max a little bit, maybe I would only pick up spacebar items and then reroll them. But then on the other hand, that's just gonna at some point cause a bottleneck where I need to find all the non-spacebar items. Which would also be annoying. Uh, easy room. I like how the spiders just turn blue when they die. Mysterious paper. Uh, I think we had that before. I don't remember what it does though. So let's also check for the second secret room. I don't know if they if they can contain items, but um, we will check. It's not there. It's also not there. Miss Omega is uh, super good actually, if you can use it efficiently. So once again, we're not going to be able to go into the final boss fight. I think we would have had a, a fairly good chance if we did. I don't know how much health the guy has, but um, yeah. Assuming that it's anywhere close to reasonable, I think we would have had a good chance in this run if at any um, point ever during this Let's Play series. Still no room. There's no reason not to check. So I will. Huh. I guess there are still a few more possibilities. Two. And it seems more often than not that it's uh, close to the boss room, so it wouldn't make sense if it's up here somewhere. There it is. A cartridge. Uh, yeah, I can reroll those. But uh, the D20, the item that I unlocked, can be used to reroll. Uh, all consumables, trinkets, chests, um, money, pills, all that good stuff. So that's um, also super exploitable in some situations. Imagine the one where you have like two Jeras, which is infinite items or infinite consumables, and then you can reroll them all with the D20. That in turn gives you all the items in the game. I don't think, I'm not sure if anybody actually managed to get all the items in the game that way, but uh, in principle it should be possible. Which is ridiculous. Probably someone did. I would be surprised if it's uh, if that's not the case. So that's a D20. Um, and as far as Isaac is concerned, that means that all we need to do with him is uh, beat the boss rush. It's so sad that we didn't manage to do that on this run. Because we had a very good chance at it. Um, still quite a um, way to go with all of these guys. Right. But we're getting there. That was a fun run. I, uh, I like the ending. We got ridiculously powerful. It's always fun when that happens. I hope you enjoyed it as well. For now, thank you everybody for watching and I will see you some other time.